Reports are coming out of Brazil that Toronto FC has signed goalkeeper Lucas Pays Souza from Sao Paulo on loan. Souza is a 20-year-old keeper and was the fourth string keeper for Sao Paulo last season. Uh, he did not play for Sao Paulo last year, so I don't know what he's going to bring to the table for TFC in terms of goalkeeping. He is the second Sao Paulo player in this calendar year to be loaned out to TFC following RO. I can't tell what he's going to bring to TFC because like there's very little information on this player. I can say what this means for TFC, and that is Sao Paulo probably would not loan a young player like this to Toronto unless they thought that we were going to play him. So his presence probably means that one of Bono or Clint Irwin are leaving this offseason. And given the history between the two, the fact that Bono's become a starting keeper for TFC, and that Clint Irwin is making tw twice as much money as Bono despite being the backup keeper, it's looking like Clint Irwin's time at TFC may be coming to an end. This move changes up our goaltending depth a bit and is probably going to open up a bunch of contract space that we're going to drop Clint Irwin's contract, um, likely, of course, given that we're now going to have a, another option at keeper, and it just makes sense that he'd be the one to go. So hopefully we use this to cheapen our goaltending options and, and try to use the new money to bring in a player in a position that we desperately need help in, like a defenseman that doesn't get injured every two games. I mean, Mavinga's great, Moore's great, but they spent way too much time on the shelf last season. We need someone, we need another defender of their quality so that when someone ininvitably goes down, we're not stuck with all the defensive troubles that we had this season. But yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what uh, Lucas Pay Souza brings to TFC. And the deal is a loan to buy with the loan ending at the end of the 2019 season. So depending on how he plays next season, depending on how many opportunities he gets and how well he performs, we may end up keeping him. And if that happens, that would be great. But his presence to me signals likely the end of Clint Irwin's time at Toronto FC.